happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive. Thank you all for tuning in tonight for the return of the Retro Wax Baseball Card Mystery Box. This is the November edition from our friends at SlaterSportsCards.com. Inside of here, we're going to find 25 older packs from the years 1982 up through 94. And we're chasing after all kinds of rookies. If you have not seen me open this product before, you can check out all my previous rips down below on the playlist. These are in stock right now on the website, which you also find linked down below. And they are 65 bucks. If you sign up and subscribe, get them delivered to your house monthly, you save yourself $5. Let's pull the packs out and see what we have. So every box comes with one of these pamphlets that documents the more high-end packs you're going to find and also the rookies you're chasing after. A lot of these boxes are BBC authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange. We have 84 tops uh, starting things out the whole way down to 90 score. If you're new to the hobby, this is nice to refer to. And plus additional unopened packs from 82 through 94. So 25 plus packs total. Check them out on the website. Any questions, email jared at slatersportscards.com. And also look them up on Facebook and on Instagram. And show them some love. So we already heard we have an 84 tops pack in here, which we'll probably save at the very end. We have a 94 flare series two, looking for the Alex Rodriguez rookie card, and also inserts 93 tops at series one. That is the Jeter rookie series. So we'll save some of those for the very end. 88 Fleer, 89 Donruss chasing after Griffey rookies and many others. Uh, 92 tops, 87 Fleer. We have 87 tops chasing after some. Key rookies in there, as well as an 87 Donruss right here. 90 score. The black and white bow nose might be in that pack. Hopefully. 91 Donruss might find an elite in there or a Clemens autograph in 92 Fleer. We do have a rack pack of 1989 tops. Ron Darling in dead center. Also, Dave Winfield is the one per pack insert. We also have an 88 tops rack pack. Willie Hernandez, Mike Scott, the insert card on that one. 89 Bowman chasing after the Griffey rookie and a couple other ones. 90 Fleer. We have 89 score. 90 Don Russ. 93 Leaf Series 1. Might find some cool inserts in there. 90 Upper Deck. 92 Leaf Series 1. 92 Don Russ Series 2. And 92 Fleer Ultra. Possible Tony Gwynn autograph. Let us get down to it. Say the rack packs for a little later. And we'll just start savagely tearing our way through. The 90s. Work our way back to 84 tops. Julio Franco is going to greet us. The all green border on these ones. I used to buy a ton of these back in 1992 as an eight year old kid. Probably the best rookie you can find in here now is Vinny Castilla. The better rookies made their way into the update set that year, which carries a pretty high price tag. Jim Eisenreich. Here's Pat Combs. Jeff Blauser. Tina Martinez. Saruti John Franco. Scott Aldred. Marquise Grissom, and Julio Franco. Definitely an interesting design, and uh, not really like anything else that was out at that era or to this day. 91 Don Rust, the pack wrappers always tear to shreds, basically. Coated in wax. You got George Brett certain things off. To pull an elite from one pack is a pretty crazy thing. Hensley Mullins looking rather devious on that rated rookie. Carlos Bayerga's second year car would have been a good one to pull back in 91. Billy Ripken, there's Pat Combs, two packs in a row, put him on the Omen watch list. Paul L. Moises Alou, second year card, very cocky sneer on his face. Dykstra Diamond Kings, Joe Carter, Kevin McReynolds, and his little scum stash. Here's an Eric Davis, Kevin Brown, and another Diamond Kings of Ryan Sandberg. The puzzle piece that year was Willie really Stargell. Part of his hand there, or his entire hand, I should say. Let's do 90 Upper Deck next. We will find the Ben McDonald error card that rocked the world. But we found something else already. Larry Walker, rookie, peering out at us. One of the better ones you can pull out of here, but I've never packed, pulled the Ben McDonald error card. I still don't even know if I own it. If I do, it's buried in the pile somewhere. But Larry Walker, rookie, comes out. We'll put that one off to the side. It's a significant rookie from this era. Craig Lefferts, so you have Jerome Walton. Would have been a hot card back in 1990. Jim Corsi. And Ricky Jordan. And John Moses is an OG omen around these parts. You got Kevin Mitchell portrait card. Floyd Bannister looking almost possessed. We look very closely at his eyes. 
Definitely possessed by some sort of ancient Sumerian demon. Gino Petrali, O.W. McDowell, Scott Scudder rookie card. That one is not a short print. We have the hologram sticker of the twins. Put that right front and center on your trapper keeper. Gary Reedus and Alex Trevino. The blurred out face in the background. I kind of like that card a lot. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Or at least I don't remember it. But it's a neat photo nonetheless. Let's do Night Honorus. The Bright Red Borders. This is a hyped up set back in 1990. You had to be there to experience it, but everyone was investing in 90 Dawn Rust. The thing about that now is pretty crazy. If you're on the, the Passes Alive Facebook page, the group, um, I posted a video on there last night, a clip from a MacGyver episode called Squeeze Play that's actually about counterfeiters in the baseball card hobby and the autograph industry. And it's a pretty neat episode because uh, Richard Dean Anderson MacGyver goes into a card shop in the early 90s and there's like a ton of Naughty Dawn Rust behind the counter and they're like all commons but it's a pretty funny episode there's a reference to Ryan Sandberg's rookie they hold that one up and the, the girl in the shop says it's a counterfeit so they're selling counterfeit Sandberg rookies they're selling Naughty Dawn Rust commons it's pretty freaking epic go and check that out if you have not done so already there's a big cat checklist Dave Stewart sweating his ass off in that photo there's Eric Davis again Tom Pagnozzi Herb Winningham so, Steve Sachs, Pete O'Brien, and Gerald Young, no rookies, but every time I see this set, I, I just have memories of 1990, because these were awesome cards back then. Believe it or not, if you were not alive in 1990 to witness that, it was a different time. Although, most of us scoff at the sight of those all these years later. Got Naughty Fleer, the quad sticker, all the old expos. I miss them. Jody Davis, Neil Heaton. We're looking for... A couple rookies, but uh, Dave Martinez error card with the 90 in yellow carries a pretty high price tag. Some people think it's a, a made-up error card. It's actually very realistic, and it is very rare to even pull it from a pack. Hence the high price tags on those. There's a Ben McDonald rookie card, though. That was a, would have been a hot one back in 1990. Dave Smith and his eternal sunglass tan line. Mike Moore is going to end that pack. No Dave Martinez for us. Heading back to 89 now. Some of the first cards I ever owned. The trash bag wrappers. We got a Sheffield rookie now peeking out. First we had Walker. And now Sheffield. There's a Jose Uribe. I'm sure that one is probably on eBay somewhere right now for thousands of dollars. I would almost guarantee it. John Cruck. I still love the design though, regardless. And of course, I love the Ninja Stars. Mackie Sasser. Got Keith Miller, Derek Lilliquist, Tim Jones, and a Sheffield rookie. It's been a while since I pack pulled that, so we'll put that with the Larry Walker rookie and trudge along to 92 Donruss and see what can come out of here. Coward can autograph. Elite autograph would be sick. Checklist card again. Seen a lot of Eric Davis in this box, which I'm sure Damon, if he still watches, would appreciate that. I don't know if we can put Eric Davis on the Omen list. I don't think we can. Chuck Knobloch, Dwight Smith, there's a Todd Hunley in our big name in the early 90s, Joe Bover, Oil Can Boyd, and nothing too crazy in that pack. Let's go to 92 Leaf. Series 1, I think Jeff Kent was in Series 2, which is the best rookie you can find in 92 Leaf, but you can always get a nice black gold, which were one per pack. It looks like it's on top. Could it be a star? It's Doc good, which is pretty cool. I just found out last night, uh, Doc Gooden has an 85 Nike promo card, which has a pretty high price tag on it. Doc Gooden has made, uh, he's referred to in that MacGyver snippet that I talked about a few minutes ago. And uh, I had to look up some Doc Gooden stuff on eBay. And he has an uh, 85 um, Nike promo. Kind of makes me want to get it, just for the rookie box, because it's obscure. Barry Larkin, leave, leave it around. Mike Devereaux. There's Alex Fernandez. Steve Bouchel and that mullet flapping in the wind. Frank Viola, Jose De Leon, Pedro Guerrero, Dave Smith yet again shows up, and Joe Orsilak ending that pack. But Doc Gooden, Black Gold is a cool one. 92 tops. Specifically, remember buying these from Ames back in the early 90s. Let's hope for a gold card. Those were about one per box. They were not one per pack until 93. Julio Franco, there's Albert Bell. Kevin Moss, Ben Mack again, and Chris Haney. There's a Bonds All-Star card. Aaron Seeley, rookie. Man, 
I'd have been stoked to pull that, although I did own him as a kid, but I did PC him there for a while. Ed Nunez, Tom, Tom McKinnon. Very bland look on his face in Dave Rigetti. Having the time of his life. Let's do 88 Fleer. Bouncing all around. Cutting those rack packs after these ones, and then we will go to the other one. The, 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 the best packs, by my opinion, we'll save those for last. Ernest Riles. Look at Edgar Martinez rookie in here, or Tom Glavin, or Mark Grace, or even Matt Williams. Mike Heath. That slick back, sleazy looking hair. McDowell again and Jay Hal and Zap Pack. Nothing really too notable in that one. We'll go 93 Leaf next. Frank Thomas was all over this release, everywhere. Special insert sets. He had autographs that were possible to be pulled from the 93 Leaf update, which didn't last very long. Let's see what we can find in here. But awesome design for this time. Everything else was coming out. Just uh, they really stepped it up in 93 compared to what you just saw in 92. The bland gray. Very colorful. Jeff Vicero. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy checklist. I don't know if I remember seeing that one before, but pretty wild shenanigans happening on this card. Very wild. But it looks like we're kind of getting screwed out of an insert. They had the Heading to the Hall inserts and some other ones, and we did not get any of those. But we got that crazy checklist, and that's okay. No Uncle Rudy either. I think he was in the update set. Not his score. Let's see if we can get a Frank Thomas rookie. The Trash Bag Rappers. We got a Mickey Weston rookie, though. I'm sure some people will cheer at the sign of that. Yeah, you have to be real careful opening these because they will catch every one of the corners. <laughs> Probably why... All my cards back in the 90s, early 90s, were dinged up because I just couldn't wait to get the cards out of the pack. Looks like we're not getting a Frank Thomas rookie. Still got a Ninja Star. Steve Hosey. Scott's got a rookie again. Not sure what's up with that. Tina Martinez. It says 1990 rookie on it, but we all know that's not an actual Tina Martinez rookie. It is true rookie is an 88 tops traded. It is an extended rookie. It's a USA Olympic card. But then he had an 89 Bowman Rookie as well. So, not his score. First score card, not really a rookie. Mickey Weston, rookie, shows up. 92 Fleer Ultra. Tony Gwynn, autograph. But, same thing with these. 91 Fleer Ultra was a very bland and gray release. They really spiced it up in 92. Everything about these cards are very nice. Premium. Mo Vaughn, another one that's not a rookie. Chris Sabo shows up, of course. And... Also a non-Jim Tomei rookie in here as well. The second year Jim Tomei. And Brian McRae ends that pack. And then there were two more wax packs left until we get to the others. I like 89 Bowman. There was a period when I got back into the hobby, like 10 years ago or whatever, where I just kind of cringed at them because I loved them as a kid. But now, I, I don't know. I just... They resonate well with me because I have good memories attached to them. And, like, the Griffey 89 Bowman is a pretty iconic card. It's Robin Ventura rookie card. So we'll put that in the stack of prominent rookies. Ted Williams reprint. I think I've told the story before, but to those of you that have not heard it, when I had the retail store, I actually had somebody come in with this card in a gigantic block screw-down case, the ones that are, like, six inches thick. Like a, a cinder block almost. So that's how thick it was, but... They had this card in there, and I instantly knew that it was 89 Bowman reprint. And you can tell just by looking at the back that <laughs> it's not a real card. But uh, it's a reprint of the 54 Bowman. There's Alan Trammell. Dwight Evans. But uh, I tried to pass that off as a real card, and I thought that was kind of silly. 89 Donruss. Griffey rookie time is now. So we've got a Will Neuschler Clark in here. It's going to be... An MVP card. Just wax is coated along this. Jeez. The puzzle that year was Warren Spawn. Kevin Brown, early on in his career, the 40 40 Club Canseco. Can we pull in the big rookies? Tom Prince, I used to hate him for some reason. I don't know why. My brother and I both hated him. Pat Borders looking kind of scummy in that photo. Lombardozzi, Coleman, Diamond Kings, Randy Bush. What the hell? And Will Clark. Being very down in the dumps that he got stuck in that pack. Let's go to the racks. We'll do 89 tops first. Slash into this. And I guess we'll use my trusty scissors here. It's a lot easier than 
trying to get a clean rip down the back because it doesn't always work. But they put one of these in each pack. Nelson Santavina. Melito Perez for Jonathan H., who has abandoned me yet again. Greg Minton, looking rather freakish on that card. Puckett, caught him at a bad time for that photo. Henneman, Boddicker, Dave Martinez, and Chris Brown is going to end the first part of this rack. I think when I was a kid, for some reason, I liked this Ron Darling card. I don't really know why, but same with Dave Cohn. I'm not sure what it was. I think I was born to be a Mets fan or something. I don't know. I'm not really a Mets fan now, but... Keith Hernandez, this would have been a Mets fan's pack for sure. Here's Teddy Hagera. Mike Moore, Scott Bradley. No sign of any rookies yet, though, which is rather disheartening. Maybe we can change it around the last pack. Looking for a Sheffield rookie, Craig Biggio. Randy Johnson is Expo's attire, of course. More Mets. You got Mick Reynolds, Strawberry, and Keith Hernandez. Lou Brock, turn back the clock. Tom Candy, Yachty, that unibrow. Hershiser, all-star card. Giants leaders, Tim Flannery. We kind of got screwed on that pack. There's Tony Fernandez, record breaker. So there's a lot of error cards in uh, 89 tops that are kind of cool, too, like the Bob Welch, the Stan Jefferson. Got to be careful when you're swashbuckling through these. You don't cut the cards themselves. We got 88 tops and the pissed off antics of Sparky Anderson. I will always enjoy seeing those. Alan Trammell, Winningham, there's Gary Gaetti, Fred Manrique for Brian Smith, who I'm sure will rejoice at the sight of that. But 88 tops, looking for Ken Caminetti. Glavin's the biggest one. And there he is. That's pretty freaking awesome. Spoken into existence. That one's a pretty good-looking card right there. The best rookie you can pull from 88 tops has come forth. Mariana Duncan, there's a Tim Wallach. Luis Salazar ends that pack. And we got one more until we go to the more premium packs, I should say. Mike Scott is going to herald this pack. And let's see if we can find any other bigger rookies like Matt Williams. There's a second year Greg Maddox. Clemens shows up. Also some error cards in here as well. I used to like that Van Slyke when I was younger. And RJ Reynolds, another card I liked as a kid. We got all of these packs still left. We got four more prominent rookies, but I think we're going to do the 87s first. We'll do 87 Donruss and then work our way through those. The puzzle was Clemente that year. Reggie Jackson starts things off. Oh, Burke fell. We got a Dale Murphy having the time of his life. And Johnny Ray looking real pissed. Too bad it's not the Johnny Ray opening day error card. Canseco. The second year can Seiko. We love to see that around here. It's that weird Cubs placement again that always freaked me out. Jeff Russell and Eddie Murray. So not a bad pack, though. Definitely got some pretty big names in there. 287 tops next. So the gum stain ruined Lonnie Smith. We're looking for Bonds, Larkin, Will Clark. Bo Jackson, of course. There's Mike Greenwell. See if we can find any of them. And Jimmy Williams. Looks like he's about to keel over in that photo. Vaughn Hayes, my arch enemy. De Leon, the propaganda piece. Ron Robinson's dorky annex. Can never be eluded in these rips. There's a Paul Molitor. Sammy Stewart. Sammy Stewart has a, a sad story, but uh, we always like to enjoy that heinous unibrow when it comes forth. Alfredo Griffin, running for dear life. And Lonnie Smith ends that pack. 87 Fleer. I'm a weird rap on this one. See if it leads to a Bo Jackson rookie. Tiger sticker starts it off. Hubie Brooks. There's Ed Whitson, who is definitely an omen around these parts. Looks like... Can we find any big names in here? Doesn't appear to be so. And then there were three. Let's do uh, 94 Flair next. Not really any way easy way to open these. Since they have a bulletproof... And closure around them. So you have cellophane, you have a box, and then you have more cellophane. But we're looking for A-Rod Rookie. Very, very premium cards for the time. Thick card stocks are kind of hard to get dings on the corners and edges. But imagine opening a case of those in one sitting. Nice cards, though. We got we got two checklists in this pack. <laughs> I said, get to be furious. 
Berard Gilkey, there's a strawberry showing up. Duncan again and Jim Abbott. So not a very great pack. There are two checklists. I used to hate pulling checklists because it screwed me out of pulling one of my favorite players. We'll do 93, top series one. So I've had a lot of luck with this product recently. If you saw the Ames video, I pack pulled the Jeter Gold Rookie from just one pack. And then the Jumbo Box that I had pulled a bunch of them. We got the gold in the middle of the pack. Who's it going to be? Bill Gullickson. So, kind of unsettling there, but oh well. Roberto Alomar shows up. Maybe we'll still find something nice in here. Gonzalez, Ramon Martinez. But I like the clean look of these cards, though, nonetheless. Steve Sachs. So, didn't do too well in that pack. But here are our rookies we pulled so far. Galavin, Rob Ventura, Sheffield, and Larry Walker. 84, looking for Donnie Baseball, rookie card, Daryl Strawberry, also Andy Van Slyke. Steve Garvey is going to be headlining this pack. A lot of people think Steve Garvey should be in the Hall of Fame. Only time will tell if he makes it in there very soon. Nasty blemish to that. I guess that's from the gum. He destroyed the card. Some league leaders there, Tony LaRussa. Can we find a Don Mattingly rookie? I don't know if I've ever pack pulled that card. I've opened, uh, I think I've only ever opened one box of 84 tops, and it wasn't in there. I remember pulling a strawberry. Ted Simmons, the propaganda peaks game. Can tonight change that forever? There's a Henderson. Love this design, though. The year I was born. Love these cards. So we struck out on the Don Mattingly rookie, but we came home with a few more prominent rookies. And it's always fun to open older wax, especially if you don't have access to. Uh, an array of wax packs. Um, retro wax usually changes up the rotation, typically every couple months, and you'll see newer packs in there even as, as early as every month. But check them out down below, slatersportscards.com, and grab yourself a box. And also, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed the rip, if you plan on getting one, or what your favorite pull was. I'd love to hear from you guys. And hopefully... We'll have a video tomorrow night or Sunday at some point. So thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon. Have a great night.